Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Ruby and me back with another video. So, I'm going to be saying why I think older cars are better. So, so in the last couple of weeks, so let's talk about early for the Ruby Cupid stage. So, really, let's say four S Max, new car and versus old S Max. So basically, Mark One facelift versus a Mark One pre facelift. I'd rather have the Mark One pre facelift or an old because or an older S Max over on. I'd have that S Max over on Mark Two because it's the old car, and I'll tell you a few reasons why. So my dad has a Ford Mondeo Vignale and that is a car with a lot of features and it makes this bong noise when your seatbelt isn't on and that's why I hate that feature because I mean why do you need a blooming beep to tell you what if someone hasn't got their seatbelt on shut up second feature that I don't like about new cars. Why digital di driver's display? Why do you need that? And why does it tell you so many things? Why does it tell you stuff such as, like, why does it tell you in digital speed? We, we're not dumb, we know what actually speed we're, we're doing within an analog feature. I mean, man, shut your face. Do we don't we don't need something that tells us that what actual speed we're doing? We're not that blooming dumb. Third feature is the car's tinted windows. Why do you need tinted windows? I don't know. Is it so that you can look rich and within your little Mercedes S class that you're paying a hundred thousand pounds for? Man, why do you need tinted windows? I don't know. Because tinted windows are dumb. Tinted windows, why do you need them? So that you can have privacy. Yes, so you can stay, stay out of them. It's reasonable, but why do you need them? You don't. You just don't. It's useless, unless if you want to look rich, like you paid Mercedes S Class or BMW Safety Series. <laughs> um, you don't really need them really because what is the bullying point? Fourth feature that I don't like about new cars is the fact LED lights, LED headlamps, for instance. So my mum's Ford S Max has as doesn't even have xenons for the actual headlamps however it just has normal bulbs in the actual headlamps but it has got led running lights which is actually a decent feature in the day when you when it's foggy it's yes you've got your fog lights but for long distances in the daytime it just gives you that extra visibility i can see why manufacturers were doing that from the mid to late 2000s and kind of like early early 2010 from 2010 to 2015 that that's actually a reasonable i think that's a good feature that i like about uh, from early to mid to late 2000s it's decent however one thing that isn't decent is led headlamps it's just to look rich in your blooming Mercedes S class that I've said about blooming ten times. But but yeah, that's a, exactly a good feature. Mercedes S class, why do you need LED headlamps? To look cool. You don't need to look cool because you're clearly not looking cool, you're looking like a blooming chap. So yeah, if you're gonna be buying a Mercedes S class, don't be in my mind. Make sure you keep it out of my face. But the thing is, why do you need LED headlamps? You don't, because LED headlamps 
any normal bulbs are absolutely fine. The ones in my mum's Ford S Max is fine. Believe me. And then my fifth and final feature is semi-autonomous cruise control. Now cruise control is all right. It's fine because that gives you that extra support and gives you that extra thing for long distances so that because people even car enthusiasts like myself do complain about these things such as like it helps and they and when they're doing long distances and they're Fiat Seicentos and Fiat Pandas and Suzuki Swifts and Renault Clio 182s they say they could pay about a thousand pounds just for us some cruise control that's actually a decent complaint. Cruise control is fine, and I think it's a good feature for doing long distances. However, semi-autonomous cruise control. You don't need it because... Because... Cruise control... Um, cruise control is fine. Because cruise control actually guides you. However, semi-autonomous. Why do you need the car to do, it, to do it for yourself? Car enthusiasts do complain about these things because they want the sense of driving because, that you won't be able to do in 20 years. Plus, I want to drive myself when I'm 17 because uh, it'd probably be electric, but I'd be happy with that because electric, it's called saving the world, it's doing something for the environment. However, something that you won't be able to do in 20 years is actually dry. So make the most of that, not put some blowing semi-autonomous thing in your Mercedes S-Cat. Eh? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I hope you enjoyed my acting and go and check out my Try Not To Laugh challenge because that was my latest vlog and yeah and there'll be weekly or there'll be weekly vlogs and weekly there'll be daily general nurse in 2020 and there'll be daily and there'll be weekly vlogs however that's not such an issue because there'll still be a, i'll probably be releasing about a one vlog every week no, one every day. So yeah, you don't have to worry, guys. I, I'm still on the case. So yeah, go and check out my latest vlog, though. That's the Try Not to Laugh challenge with my cousin. That is also a YouTuber. But anyway, see you in the next video, guys. Bye.